everybody. Welcome to today's workout, which is going to be an upper body workout. We are going to start with biceps, then we'll move to triceps, shoulders, chest, and back. For each uh, muscle group, we are going to do three sets of exercises three times through. After each round of exercises, we will break for 30 seconds, and then we'll start the other um, set, and then we'll move on to the next muscle group. I would encourage all of you when we are doing these exercises to focus on that muscle group. For instance, biceps, I want you to really focus on contracting that bicep muscle. You can use uh, soup cans, you can use weights, you don't have to use any weights at all or any um, poundage. All you need to do is really focus on contracting that muscle and you will get a very good workout. So we'll start with the biceps. I will explain what we're going to be doing. The first one, we're going to do a horizontal curl. So you're going to have your arms straight out in front of you, and you're going to be curling up, keeping your arms at shoulder height. So we'll do 30 seconds of this. Then we're going to drop our elbows and our arms down to our side, and we're going to do a curl at 90 degrees. So you want to keep your arms not from going down, but keep them at 90 degrees, and you're just gonna be doing little curls. We'll do that for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna do a full curl for 30 seconds. And please remember, we don't wanna be swinging. We wanna keep our arms at our side and just curl up from the elbows, not using the momentum of your whole arm. Okay, so we'll do that. Those three exercises, three times through, and then we will move on to our triceps. So here we go. Horizontal curl, arms out at shoulder width, or shoulder height, I'm sorry. And you're just curling in. Halfway there. Remember, focus on contracting that bicep muscle. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to drop your arms to your side and do little curls from a 90 degree angle and up. Keep your core nice and tight so you have a nice good posture when you're doing these upper body workouts. 10 seconds left. And two, one, full curl, up and down. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Don't squeeze your shoulders up. And three, Two, one. Okay, shake your arms out a little bit and we'll do that round again in 30 seconds. Mr. Tucker decided to join us today, although he's snoozing in the chair. And we're down to 10 seconds. In five, four, Three horizontal curl, here we go. Halfway there. Five, four, three, Two, one, drop your arms to your side, and 90 degree curl up. Ten seconds. And three. Two, 
One, and then full curl. Arms at your side, curling up from your elbows. Shoulders nice and relaxed. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, one more round of those. I'm using the timer on my phone, so the 30 second break in between might be a little bit long, but I tried to do it on the half marks, taking only a 15 second break and I got way too confused. So we're sticking with the 30 second break. And we are down to five, four, three, two, one. Last round, horizontal curl. Ten seconds left. In three, two, one. Drop your arms. 90 degree curl. Halfway there. In five. Four, three, two, one, and for full curl. And five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, nice job. Now on to triceps. So I'll show you what we are going to be doing for the triceps. We're going to be a, a, do a close hand push up. So you want your hands about this close and you're pushing up from your chest. So you don't want them wide. These are much more difficult than the normal push ups are. So I'm actually gonna be doing them on my knees. You can also, <clears throat> excuse me, you can also do them on a chair or you can do them on a wall as well. So you're gonna have your hands, oh, there. hands close together and then you're pushing from your chest up. You wanna keep your elbows in at your side. So down and up. Your elbows are in, and you're pushing up from your chest. If you're doing it from your knees, make sure your butt's not up, and you're going like this. You want your neck in a neutral position, and you're just pushing up. Next, we will be doing a tricep extension. So you'll stand up, your arms are gonna be straight up. You're dropping your hands behind your head. Your elbows are staying forward and then you extend your hands up to the ceiling. Sideways. So your hands or your um, the upper parts of your arms are right by the side of your face and you're extending up from your elbows. Next, we're gonna do a tricep kickback. So you're gonna have soft knees, your butt kind of sticking out back nice and straight. We did these in a previous workout. So you're just kicking back from the elbow. You want your hands at your, or your um, upper arms at your side and you're hinging at the elbow and kicking back. You want full extension, really squeeze at the back so you're um, engaging those triceps. Don't bring them all the way forward, just drop them down to the floor at a 90 degree angle and then kicking back. Okay, so those are our three sets for the tricep muscles. We'll start with our push ups. And here we go. Hands in, close together, elbows in. 
and you're pushing up from your chest. So your hands are a little bit back further. In five, four, three, two, one. Now tricep extension, arms up by the side of your face, dropping from your elbows, and then bringing your hands up to the ceiling, keeping your elbows in. In five, four, three, two, one. Tricep kick back. Really squeeze at the back there. Ten seconds. And two, one. Okay, round one done. Hope everybody's getting a chance to get some movement and exercise outside. Walking around. Lots of nice paths, walking paths, although they're pretty muddy right now. Okay, we're off to our push-ups in five, four, three, two, one. Hands close together. Elbows at your side, pushing up from your chest. Halfway right there. In five, four, three, two, one. Tricep extension, arms up, and drop them down behind your head. Elbows in. And five, four, three, two, one. Tricep kick back. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. All right, round two done. One more round of those, and then we are going to move on to our shoulders. Guys are doing a great job. And we are ready to start push-ups in three, two, one. Here we go, last round of these. Halfway there. In five, four, three, two, one. Tricep extension. Those push ups are tough. Ten seconds. In three, two, one. Tricep extension. Or kick back, I'm sorry. We just did the extension. Halfway 
Halfway there. And five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, onto shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is an Arnold press. Arms at shoulder height. You're gonna bring them in together, out, and push up. In, out, and push up. And you wanna keep them at shoulder height the whole time. The next thing that we are going to do is, stop my timer is a front raise, side lateral. So you're gonna bring them out to in front of you and then out to the side. And again, you wanna just go to shoulder height. You don't wanna be going all the way up here just to shoulder height. So we're just gonna be alternating. You can have a little bend in your elbow. And then next we will be doing an upright row. So you're gonna have your hands in front of you and you're gonna bring them up. Your elbows are nice and high. So you're gonna bring your hands or your weights up to underneath your chin and then all the way down. And the, the key to this is really keeping your elbows up high. So just up and down like this. Okay. So that is it for our shoulders. Here we go. Arnold press, together and press up. Together, press up. At shoulder height, you want them. Try not to drop them down further than your shoulder height. 10 seconds. And three, Two, one, front raise, side lateral. Front raise, side lateral. Just up to shoulder height. Twelve seconds. And three, two, one. Upright row, elbows up nice and high. Halfway there. And three, two, one. All right. Shake your shoulders out. Those tend to burn a little bit. After this will be chest and back and then we are done. And you can have a fantastic day knowing that you did something great for your body. 10 seconds left. And five, four, Three, two, one. Arnold press up and together. And for all these exercises, again, you want to keep your core tight so that you're not arching your back and pushing up. So you don't want to be pushing up with an arched back. Nice and straight. And three, two, one. Front raise and side lateral. Halfway there. And five, four, Three, two, one, upright row, elbows high. All the way up and down. Halfway there. And five, four, 
three, two, one. All right, one more round of those. The next video I will be doing will be a lower body workout. So I'll be looking for that in the next day or two. 10 seconds left. And three, two, one. Last round, Arnold Press. Shoulder height. Halfway there. And five, four, three, two, one. Front raise, side lateral. Nice tight core so you're not swinging up your body at all. You're just moving your arms. 10 seconds. And three, two, one. Now upright row. All the way up and down, elbows high. Twelve seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, now we are on to our chest. These will all be done on the floor. So the first one that we're going to do is a chest press. So you're gonna have 90 degree at your elbow bend, and then you're pushing straight up. You wanna make sure that you're pushing, set my timer again. You wanna make sure that you're pushing up over your chest. So you don't wanna be pushing up over your head or your face. You wanna make sure that you're pushing up over your chest. So 90 degrees spread down, and then up, push, squeeze at the top over your chest. Next, we're going to do, um, you're gonna drop your arms or your hands over your head, up, and then you're gonna press up. So you're gonna drop your arms back, to, back over your head, and then push up. Over your head, and push up. And the next, the last one that we're gonna do is a fly. Kind of like the press, but your arms are straighter. So you're bringing your arms out and then squeezing together at the top and again over your chest, not over your head, chest level. You have a slight bend in your elbows, but just a, a little bit, not like the press. This is the press, so the fly is arms are out straighter and squeezing together at the top. Okay. So here we go, and again on the chest press. 90 degree bend in your elbows at the bottom, squeeze at the top over your chest. Twelve seconds left. And three, two, one. Now you're gonna drop your hands over your head to your chest level and push up. Drop back and push up. Ten seconds. And two, one, fly. Arms straight, 
slight bend in the elbow, and you're squeezing at the top over your chest. And really squeeze at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, round one done. Two more rounds and then we have the back exercises. Actually, there's only two back exercises and we'll be doing push-ups along with those two back exercises because we all love push-ups. All right, 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. Chest press. 90 degree bend at the elbow at the bottom. And then squeeze at the top over your chest. Twelve seconds left. Three, two, one. Drop your hands overhead. And then push up. And three. Two, one, and the chest fly. Just a slight bend in your elbows, squeezing up at the top. Twelve seconds. And three. Two, one. All right, last round coming up. You guys are doing a fantastic job. And always remember to leave me any comments if there is any workouts that you want to see that you have not seen. You're all in this together. Here we go, last round of chest in three, Two, one, chest press. 90 degree bend. Twelve seconds. And three. Two, one, drop your hands overhead, bring them down to chest and push up. And five, four, three, Two, one, and last round of flies. Slight bend in the elbow, squeeze at the top. Ten seconds. And three. Two, one. Nice job. Last round of exercises. We have the back muscles to work. So we are going to do a reverse fly, kind of like the fly that we just did, elbows just slightly bent. And you're bringing your arms up, out to the side. Squeeze those shoulder blades when you have your arms up. Squeeze them together. So this is what it looks like from this side. So really squeeze at the top. Next 
next we are going to do a, um, a one arm row, but we're doing two arms at the same time. So here you're going to have, just have bent elbows. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades again at the back, elbows in and down. So squeeze them up at the back. And this way, so you want your elbows in, not out. You want them in. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And then we have our push-ups. These are our normal push-ups, so you can have your hands out and just up and down. We don't want our butt up, and we don't want to be dropping our head when we do it. Head is nice and neutral, butt is down. You can drop to the um, knees to the floor and do them this way. We can do them from a chair. And again, you can do them from a wall as well. So here we go. We're gonna do the reverse fly. Arms slightly bent and squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're doing the row. So you're bending your elbows, keeping your elbows in. And squeeze again those shoulder blades at the top. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, and on to push ups. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're nearing the end. Fifteen seconds more. Reverse fly next in three, two, one. Squeeze at the top. Halfway there. In five, four, three, two, one. Now our row, elbows bent and back. And squeeze again at the top. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. And push ups. Can't see my timer. All right, last round. And we all love push-ups because the more we do them, the easier they are. 10 seconds left. In 
in five, four, three, two, one. Reverse slide. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Now the row. Elbows bent and elbows in. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. Okay, last round of push ups. Give it all you got. You are done. Here we go. Nicely done. Everyone, high fives. Great job. Proud of all of you. I know this gets a little bit challenging right now, especially when you're used to going to a gym and there's no gym available for you to go to. So there's always the great outdoors, even on days like this. But there's videos that you can do, um, gardening, Pretty soon mowing, but the gyms will be open by then. Um, I'll even come vacuuming in there. So keep your body moving and just do good by your body. Thanks for joining in. See you next time.